Hi, I'm Peter Sklar. Welcome to One Minute Piano Lessons. Today's piano lesson is called Completely Glysterical. And that is coming from a musical device called a glissando, which basically means sliding your hand or your fingers up or down the keys. Now you can take aim with that, use it very effectively, um, almost in an orchestral sense, especially if you do two things. Number one is you add the sustaining pedal. And number two, if you know where you're going, if you know what notes or chords you're ending on. I use it when I'm trying to emphasize a certain verse or a chorus or it's becoming near the end of the song. One example top of my head is uh, from a chorus line, what I did for love. But I can't forget. Da -da. Another example is um, Tomorrow from Annie. Uh, the end of the song, uh, Tomorrow, the chorus just seems to repeat and repeat and repeat. Tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, I love you, tomorrow. And then at the end you have this wonderful orchestral rhythmic, uh, it's only a day. Uh, right before that finale. The best example of a glissando I've ever heard is a group from the 60s called Procol Harum. They did a song called Wider Shade of Pale, and, and towards the end of the song, uh, there's an instrument, there's an organ, which I love, it's a Hammond B3. It uh, just rips up and down the keyboard. Um, you can't do it justice with the piano, but the feel is... It's almost iconic, because I, I've never heard anything quite as dynamic before or since, at least as far as the use of a glissando. I'm Peter Sklar. This has been another one-minute piano lesson.